In this video, I will make the lead, the trailing edge of this arrow foil as a square. So instead of the sharp trailing edge, I will just make this as a blunt trailing edge type. And for that, I, I don't have any, any hard and fast tool where it should be done, which, which location should be there. I will just ma make this arrangement based on my, my visual infection so that the, I can get the nice blunt trailing edge or the square trailing edge. So I guess this location would be enough and uh, so create a line and the line should be vertical one simple so create a line which should be crossing the arrow foil and after that you have to click on the trim entities and trim this these quantities and uh, before that before we go because we made just a one mistake here. So we have to edit the sketch first and then we have to go to the go to create the line. So in, in after that we, we will be able to uh, trim the entities from the geometry. Okay, now just go to trim entities and trim the geometry first this one, these aerofoil parts and then the lines which are extra parts here. So in this way we are able to create this much and definitely this will, will this will shorten the length but the thing is that if i go to the this uh, ppd file and uh, i want to show you the actual geometry of this uh, this uh, turbine so from the manufacturing point of view you can see that the, the geometry was the trailing edge in the manufacturing the actual setup by nrel they have also the blunt trailing edge not the sharp trailing edge so you are not going to do anything wrong here. And secondly, there are no instruments or the manufacturing setup which can create the infinite sharp trailing edge. So when we are using the some instruments, some cutters, they will have the some finite thickness. So definitely we cannot, we are not able to create that much sharpness in the actual case. So in the actual case, they will come with this type of the blunt trailing edge. And when, when we test them, the results will be also of this configuration. So whenever you make the model in, in this way, basically we're not making any mistake here or there's, no, there's nothing wrong here. So just keep in mind, this is not going to make any difference. And moreover, the majority of the flow conditions which changes here, they are happening on the leading edge and the majority of the portion of the upper and lower section here. And on the rear side from here onwards, the changes are very very small so even if you think about from this this perspective you will see that the changes are not major and the, it, this will not affect the flow at any cost